Ursula Keller has been a full professor of physics at the Federal Institute of Technology, Zurich, since 1997. She needed a lot of stamina and spirit to get where she is today. Society has certain expectations of women. If women fight as hard as men to stay at the front, they come over as much harder than men. In the olden days, I would have been branded a witch in Switzerland and burnt at the stake. More than 20 years ago, Ursula Keller revolutionized laser research by inventing SESAMs, semiconductor saturable absorber mirrors. These enable the generation of stable pulses from certain types of lasers, which greatly improve their performance. The technology is now used in all sorts of medical, industrial and communications applications. Keller's doctorate students are continuing the research in the laser laboratory. The professor is the undisputed boss here. Technically speaking, it doesn't make any difference whether a man or a woman is the boss or the teacher. Maybe with a woman it's a bit warmer. The atmosphere is a bit better, perhaps. Keller supervises 26 research students, only four of whom are women. This nevertheless represents a high proportion of females in what is generally a male-dominated field. Argentinian post-doctorate Clara Saraceno thinks she knows why so many men opt for physics. Here we have very technical work, so we do a lot of things that maybe you don't learn at the university. And uh, the baggage that you have from when you're little counts a lot for what you do in everyday life, right? It's doing electrical circuits and doing things that men tend to learn when they're little, at home or during their free time. So it's part of their hobbies maybe somehow, and women don't. Ursula Keller regularly puts in 60 hours per week. She chose physics because it was easier for her to study and because it's where her talent lies. So far, she has 20 patented inventions and 350 publications to her name. The whole SESAM invention turned out to be a gold mine. Thanks to that, my department grew. I got more students, and now I have one of the biggest groups in the physics department. Now suddenly other heads of department are asking, why have you got more than me? It's already a mark of success if a woman has the same number of students as her male counterparts. But to have more bruises their egos. On top of a successful academic career, the professor has also found time to raise two children. But it's been a challenge. She faced the biggest hurdle when she announced that she was pregnant. There was quite a reaction. My promotion from extraordinary to full professor was stalled, and no one really helped me. Everyone assumed I couldn't do it. In the end, there was a big row, and I got promoted after a two-year delay. But I didn't do anything wrong. All I did was get pregnant. At weekends, Ursula Keller spends at least half a day with her family. They regularly go to the Saturday market in their village. She met her husband in America while doing her post-doctorate. He's an electrical engineer. They think it's an advantage that both are academics. I don't know what it's like to live with another kind of woman, say a housewife. I think it would be boring. I like things being different. We have a very scientific way of addressing our problems. So we say, if we assume the following, what will happen? So our disputes are conducted in a very logical way. Straight after shopping, Ursula Keller generally gets back to the drawing board. At least at the weekend, she can work from home.